Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have x to the power of three is equal to x to the power of five. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x to the power of three on both sides. So these two cancel out, and I'm left with x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 0. So now, I'm going to factor out x to the power of 3. So now I have x to the power of 3 times x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this is going to give me two equations. I have x to the power of 3 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So for x to the power of 3 equals 0, I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. The cube root of x to the power of 3 is simply x, and the cube root of 0 is 0. So x equals 0 is one solution. Now I have x squared minus 1 equals 0. So now I'm going to add 1 on both sides. So now these two are going to cancel out, and I'll be left with x squared is equal to 1. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, so cancel out and left with x is equal to positive or negative 1. So these are two more solutions to our problem. So now, our three, three solutions to this problem are 0, 1, and negative 1. So now to check my original equation was x to the power of 3 is equal to x to the power of 5. So let's first check 0. So if x equals 0, I have 0 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 to the power of 5. Now 0 to the power of 3, this is the same thing as 0, and 0 to the power of 5 is the same thing as 0. So 0 works. Now let's try 1. I have x to the power of 3 is equal to x to the power of 5. Now if x is equal to 1, I have 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 1 to the power of 5. 1 to the power of 3 is 1, and 1 to the power of 5 is 1. So this works as well. Now finally, we have negative 1. So I have negative 1 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1 to the power of 5. Negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 to the power of 5 is negative 1. So this works as well. So these are my three solutions to this problem. All right, so I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. Now I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. And this, important, this property is really important because let's say I have 7 to the power of x is equal to 14. So right now, as you can see, x is really hard to solve for because if x is an exponent, it's going to be really hard to solve for, especially when we know that x is going to be a decimal. Because 7 to the power of 1, this is equal to 7. And 7 to the power of 2, this is equal to 49. And 14 is somewhere in between 7 and 49, meaning x is somewhere in between 1 and 2. And solving for this in the form that it is, is really hard. So now if we change it by taking the log on both sides, now I can move x to the front. And now, as you can see, x is a real term, and it's much simpler to solve for. All I have to do is divide both sides by log 7. 
Now these two are out and I have X is equal to log 14 over log seven. So it's actually really simple when you use this property. So now I'm doing, this is what I'm doing for five to the power of X is equal to seven. So now I had log five to the power of X is equal to log seven. Now I can move X to the front. So now I have X times log five is equal to log seven. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by log five. So now these two are going to cancel out and I'm left with X is equal to log seven over log five. Now log seven, this is equal to 0 0.8451 and log five, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I have 0 0.8451 over 0 0.6990, which is equal to approximately 1.2090. So this is my answer. All right, so I have two to the power of X is equal to three to the power of X. So now I wanna find the value of X so for my solution here, first start with two to the power of X is equal to three to the power of X. Now I'm gonna be taking the log of base two on both sides. So now I have log base two of two to the power of X is equal to log base two of three to the power of X. Now an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log A to the power of B, I can actually move this exponent B to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal B times log A. And the reason this property is so important is that let's say we have the problem seven to the power of X is equal to nine. Well, right now it's really hard to solve for X because X is an exponent and we know that X is gonna be a decimal because seven to the power of one, this is equal to seven and seven to the power of two, this is equal to 49. And nine is somewhere in between seven and 49, meaning X is somewhere in between one and two. However, it's really hard to find the value of that by just having X be an exponent. So now if we use this property, and let's say we take the log on both sides, now we can move X to the front. And now as you can see, X is a ter real term, and now it's much simpler to solve for. All we have to do is divide by log seven on both sides. And now we have the value of X as log nine over log seven. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I had log base two of two to the power of X is equal to log base two of three to the power of X. So now if I move X to the front for both of these, I have X times log base two of two is equal to X times log base two of three. Now log base two of two, this is the same thing as one. So now I have X is equal to X times log base two of three. Now, if I subtract X times log base two of three on both sides, I have these two cancel out. So X minus X times log base two of three is equal to zero. So now if I factor out X from this, I get X times one minus log base two of three is equal to zero. 
So the only value of x, actually now I'm actually going to go ahead and divide by 1 minus log base 2 of 3 on both sides. And these two cancel out, I'm left with x is equal to 0 divided by anything is 0. So x is equal to 0. This is my answer. Now to check, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. So I know that x is equal to 0, so I have 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 3 to the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 is 1, so I have 1 is equal to 1. And because this is right, our solution is right as well.